So here's what we're talking about. Notation, right? All this fun stuff, the SD, the SRs, the S deltas, and all that. Joyous, lovely stuff that tends to kind of throw people for a loop once in a while. I cover it in various places, but I don't have a really good single lecture on notation and behavior analysis. So here it is. All right. So the first things first, we have uh, the three-term contingency. That's the basic pieces, right? So the notation we use for that is simple. An SD is the first term. That stands for a discriminative stimulus, or stimulus that discriminates, however you want to look at it. So it's written with a superscript, right? So S with a D up in the superscript, right? Then the second term in the three-term contingency is an R, or a response. The third term is the S, and it's something else, right? There's a lot of those something else's, so we'll start with the first one, the easiest one, which is SR, right? SR means a stimulus that reinforces. Um, we can talk about the issues with that later on. If you guys want to talk about premac principle and stimuli and or actions and all that stuff, but that's a different topic. Okay, so an SR is a stimulus that reinforces. Now, as you know, we have two types of reinforcement, so there are two different notations for that. There is SR plus and there is SR minus. The first one, SR plus, is obviously uh, uh, positive reinforcement, and the second one is negative reinforcement, which leads us to another consequence notation that exists, which is SP or a stimulus that punishes. So then you would have an SP plus and an SP minus. Positive punishment, negative punishment. There's also this other thing called, or sorry, so that, that's the notation for that third, that, that consequence piece, right? Um, so the third, um, what do you call it? Uh, the third term in the three term contingency. Um, but let's move back to the first term because there's some variations on the SD that we want to talk about. Um, an SD signals to the organism that a reinforcer is available in that context at that time for a particular response. That's what the SD signals. So the SD is about signaling a reinforcer. You can also have an SP, or sorry, let me try that again. <laughs> you have an SDP, right? A, a discriminative stimulus that signals the punishment is coming. You could have that. Um, you could also have this cool thing called an S delta, which basically signals that extinction is going to happen. In other words, there are no reinforcers available. That's what an S delta signals. An S delta signals no reinforcer. SDP signals that there's a punisher coming. SD signals that there's reinforcement available. Okay, uh, so those are your your core pieces. Now let's add in another one: motivating operations. MOs. There's two types, right? An EO and an AO. And then there's more breakdowns than that, right? You get the the CMEOs and all that stuff. So you get all those other ones, right? So we're just gonna call it an MO to make it easy, right? MOs typically come in the three-term contingency. They're placed before the SD, so it, goes, it typically reads MO, SD, R, SR. But in reality, a motivating operation affects the value of a reinforcer. It doesn't affect the value of the discriminative stimulus. So in reality, it's like it kind of sits below it, but concurrent, it's weird. It's hard to talk about this stuff because it makes us think that it's this weird chain and it always happens in that order. Sometimes things kind of happen concurrently. Um, and that's kind of what the issue is with the motivating operation. It is something that has happened before the reinforcer is delivered, so we have to put it somewhere in there. So we put it in front of everything. Um, but it's not like you go MO happens, and then an SD, then an R, and an SR. The MO could happen months ago, could be happening concurrently. But in it, it doesn't affect the SD. It affects the reinforcer, right? So it is what what drives the it, it changes the value of that reinforcer. So hopefully that clarifies a couple of issues, and I hope that my drawing here makes some sense. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care.